Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 in module 4 we are working on lesson number 5 and that means that we are solving word problems involving the division of whole numbers with answers in the form of fractions or whole numbers. So let's take a look at one of the problems from tonight's homework see if that gets you going on either problems 1 or 3 if those happen to be on your homework for tonight. Problem number 2, let's see, we're going to use our read, draw, and write strategy. Let's see, let's read first. Uh, let's see, Craig bought a three-foot bag long baguette and then made four equally sized sandwiches with it. What portion of the baguette was used for each sandwich? F draw a visual model to help you solve this problem. Okay, well, the great thing about uh, the baguette sandwich question is that the baguettes will look almost exactly like tape diagrams. <laughs> awesome. Let's see, so we've got a three-foot long baguette. Three feet long. And then, let's see, he made how many? He made four equally sized sandwiches. Okay, so let's see. I think that means we need like that. Three equally sized sandwiches. Four, I'm sorry, four equally sized sandwiches. What portion of the baguette was used for each sandwich? Oh, well, that one's easy, right? He used exactly one-fourth. One-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth would equal the whole baguette. So I would say he used, Craig used one-fourth of the baguette for each sandwich. Awesome. Okay. How long in feet? How long in feet is one of Craig's sandwiches? Wow, okay, we've done the drawing. How long in feet? Well, let's see. So how many units? We, it looks like we had one, two, three, four units. Four units added up to exactly three feet, right? So let's see, one unit then would be equal to, we'll have to divide the three feet by four. Three-fourths of a foot. Now, does that make sense? If this was three-fourths of a foot, if we had two of them, three-fourths plus three-fourths would be one and a half. Oh, great. And then two more, one and a half plus one and a half would equal three. So I think that makes sense, right? Three-fourths. If four of those sandwiches adds up to three feet, then we need to take the three feet, divide it by into four equal sections, and that will give us the length in feet of each of the sandwiches. So three-fourths of a feet. Let's see. Um, each was three-fourths of a foot long. Awesome. We've gone ahead and done our right strategy for two of these. Let's, hope, let's read our last one. How many inches long is one of Craig's sandwiches? Well, so th basically we just have to say, well, how long is three-fourths of a foot? Let's see, three-fourths. Uh, let's see, I remember that a foot is 12 inches long. So let's see, I'm going to need an equivalent fraction, three-fourths expressed in twelfths. Let's see. So if I want to get to twelfths, let's see, I know I'm going to need to multiply the denominator by three, and I'm going to need to multiply the numerator then by three so that I don't get an equivalent fraction. And that equals nine twelfths of a foot. So that's an equivalent fraction, right? Nine twelfths are the same as equivalent to three fourths. So nine twelfths makes it easier for me to see this in inches. Nine twelfths of a foot is the same as nine inches. So, let's see, um, oh, nine, let's see, I'm just going to fill in the sentence around it. Each sandwich is nine inches long. Nine inches long, right? Nine inches is the same as three-fourths of a foot. Awesome. Well, that gives us everything we need for problem number two. We've gone ahead and done parts A, B, and C. I believe this leaves uh, problems one and three potentially for your homework tonight and I hope if you uh, are assigned those problems and have to take a, take a crack at those that you'll be successful at them. Otherwise come back and maybe not watch another watch the video again and see if you can get some help about how you could go ahead and draw a visual model, convert from units to fractions, and if the case if any of them involve uh, fractional um, fractional unit conversions or conversions to whole parts, uh, whole inches from feet or anything like that, you can come back and watch this part as well. So thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.